footage that you just watched represents the insecurities, the lack of confidence, the sadness that I felt every single day. The comments that were displayed on the screen were taken directly from messages that people have left me and written to me on my YouTube videos. People are always telling me that my face is too shiny or that it's greasy or that it's ugly or that I need makeup or that, oh, go do something because you have too many pimples on your face. I've struggled with my skin for the longest time, since I was 12 years old, all through middle school, high school, college. I've always been breaking out and it's just something that I've dealt with. I go through periods of time when my face is flawless, there's no marks. And then I go through times where I'm just really broken out. I have scars on my face. I've been on antibiotics. I've done different treatments. I've changed my diet. I've done many different things. And in the past, it used to bother me so terribly. I would be afraid to leave the house without having makeup on. I'd have to cover everything up because I'd be afraid of what people would say. And It would be so embarrassing and I would always constantly fill my head with the thoughts of what people would say, what people were thinking. I would be afraid to look people in the eyes because I didn't want them to see what my face looked like. It was a struggle for a very long time. But you know what, then it got to a point where I just said enough's enough. Why am I letting the opinions of others influence how I feel on the inside? It's not worth it. I'm here to tell you guys that you're beautiful both on the inside and out. You should never let anything tear you down or let it get the better of you. At the end of the day, we are all equal. Nobody's perfect. We all have our own flaws. We all have our own insecurities. The words of others are meaningless. What matters most is your happiness. You should feel comfortable in your own skin and you shouldn't let anybody else dictate your happiness. You're not alone. Everybody struggles with different things. Everybody has different issues that they have to overcome. If someone says something mean to you, shrug it off. Never let it get the better of you. Never let it tear you down. It's not worth it. I have changed. I don't let those little comments bother me no more. If there's things that are bothering you, don't let it. You're wasting your time when you could be smiling and having fun and enjoying life. So those are my words to you guys and I hope that you take it. I hope that this message has been meaningful to you and that it can help you in some sort of way in your own life. And I want to thank you guys for all your continued support. You guys truly, truly, truly are the greatest and I just feel so happy to share this with you. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you guys an updated skincare routine. Since the last time I showed you, I have made some adjustments, I've switched products, so I want to give you guys the rundown on what I am currently using at this moment. Let's get started. One thing I've never showed you guys, which I have received some questions on, what makeup removers do I use? Now typically on a day-to-day -day basis, do not wear that much makeup, but when I'm going out and I got a face full of makeup and I gotta take it all off, I usually use Clinique, works like a charm. I also use Abilene, my grandma introduced me to, hi Grams. She's been using this for the longest time and most recently she started showing me and I love it. It's got a moisturizing base to it. You simply rub it on your eyes and you take it off with a tissue and it removes all the makeup off and it feels so gentle to the skin which is what I like the most about it. The last go around I showed you guys the cleanser I was using which was by Clean and Clear. Not sure if it was this color um, but it was this product and I have since stopped using it. And I've moved on to Neutrogena. This is the product I am currently using. It's oil free, it's an acne stress control. And I really like this cream a lot. It is an acne fighter. It's supposed to help prevent acne from arising. And most recently, I've switched over to no longer using my hands. Yes, I put these bad boys away. And I moved on to Vanity Planet's Ultimate Skin Spa System. I was not getting a good enough clean with just my hands. Now granted, your hands are dirty, so you always have to make sure that they're super clean before you wash your face. I feel like the brush is the most efficient thing for me, especially now because I'm just trying to clear up my face. The system comes with three different brush heads that you can attach. You can pair it with your cleanser, which is what I do. And it has two different spots. I just rinse my face with some water, I apply the cleanser onto the brush, and I just move it in a circular motion. This one right here, that's the exfoliating brush. Now that's awesome if you have dry skin. I like to exfoliate to help prevent my pores from getting clogged. It's also great to remove any dead skin cells, which I currently have on my chin. My skin keeps flaking off, 
So that's what I like to do to remove all that, remove the debris. It uncovers fresh new cells and it just leaves your skin feeling so healthy and smooth. Now the next brush is the silicone one. It's super gentle. It allows for a more enhanced absorption of the cleaning products that you're using on your face. It's the one that I use the most. The bristles, oh my gosh guys feels amazing. I enjoy washing my face so much more now. It just feels so nice. It's like a massage basically. I have oily skin so it's imperative for me to get all that junk that's just laying on my face from all day to get it off. It helps prevent the buildup of all the bacteria that's going to make me more prone for breaking out in the future. Helps with my dry skin, helps with my oily skin, helps prevent breakouts. If you guys want to check out the Skin Spa system, I'll be leaving a link to that product in the description box down below. Good morning guys, it's 8.30 right now. We got a very early start today. There's barely anyone on the sand. I found Patrick the star. Look at this massive hole that they made. That's big. It's me. <laughs> there. Hey. I can't see anything. Say hello. Hey, how's it going? Where's your body? I don't know. I can't feel anything below my neck. Can you really not get up? <laughs> <laughs> came prepared with a shovel. We are building a 10 times bigger hole than the last go around. But you're moving so carefully. Let's start living dangerously. Walking to the car right now. It's the afternoon, so we got a decent amount of hours in at the beach, probably about six. I'm off to the gym. I'm going to train upper body today. Also want to do some cardio and I'm definitely going to hit the sauna. But I have to make sure I drink plenty of water so I stay hydrated. That's what I'm about to do. I feel like I'm already drenched in my own sweat and I haven't even left. It's very hot out today. Wish me luck and I will see you all there. <laughs> I leave for Texas in the morning. I have an 8 a.m. flight. I gotta quickly get all this together. Of course, I waited to the last minute, but I am super excited to be leaving and heading out there. I cannot wait. We'll see you guys in Texas in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.